7 a.m. on Christmas Eve. Wait, and we're gonna go get whatever's left at the store. <laughs> I thought it was done. Oh, it's good. No wonder there's so many tracks in the yard. They're back so soon. But the snow has finally stopped. Morning. It's 7 a.m. on Christmas Eve. And we woke up to more snow. It's snowing so much, but it's so <laughs> wet. Actually, we woke up at what? At two what? or three in the morning? No, because I went to bed at 3 30. Oh, I don't know. I didn't look at the clock. Um, it was right before I got up. <clears throat> it's like five. We woke up and it was raining. <clears throat> it was, it was and, and raining I, so hard. And I had just finished shoveling the entire driveway since I was gone all week and nobody shoveled the whole driveway but I just finished it all yesterday and now it's snowing again this is snowman snow it is it's it pretty is wet yeah. which is good anyway because you haven't made a snowman yet we um let me put my seatbelt on before he takes off here hold this I'm gonna hold you look at that I was just gonna explain what we were doing See? up so early getting up on on. Angie doesn't like to wear her seatbelt, and then the car things at her and goes, blah, blah, blah. It, it always it always yells at me, and I hate it. It's rude. Um, <laughs> um, it is Christmas Eve, and we are up at 7 a.m. Well, we're leaving at 7 a.m. because not too many people are going to be out on the roads and at the store. So, but we are. Um, we are going to. We're going to surprise someone with a... Wait, you can't see me anymore. Turn the light on. I did that before and it looked terrible. Well, it didn't look terrible or it didn't oh. look at all. Can you see where you're going? Yeah. Um, anyway, we're going to surprise someone with a better Christmas than what they would have without us doing our... We're going to go shopping for a little eight-year-old that we know that's not going to have any Christmas under the presents under the tree. And I don't like to go shopping when there's lots and lots of people at the store. So we got up early and we're going to go get whatever's left at the store. That was, uh, and, uh, that was my suggestion. And, yep, we're off. Because I know you don't like crowds and people. Yeah. And... So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go get some goodies, maybe some stocking goodies, maybe some uh, Christmas presents, and then... I think we're gonna get some paper and wrap, and then we're going to sneak it into the house and under the tree tonight sometime, or when they're not home or something. We'll figure it out. And hopefully they won't know who did it. We'll see. Yeah, we have to buy new wrapping paper because they know your old wrapping paper. Yeah, because I've been having the same wrapping paper for like seven years. <laughs> Brown paper. So, anyway.
crab though, but it's pretty sick. Don't don't film his license plate. You can't see it anyway. <laughs> Down. That's it, we're done shopping. It's getting deep out there. Yeah, it's about double since we left for shopping. We weren't even gone for like an hour. See? Yeah. yeah we're out an hour. About an hour from when we left the house. It's not showing any signs of letting up either. It's gonna be a very white. White Christmas. Crazy. Cool. It's actually in a couple hours it's forecasted to rain. So we shall see. I know. It's 24 degrees right now. It's not cold. It was raining this morning. Yeah, but when we got up it was 32 degrees. That's so true. Cool last when night. it was yeah, when it was raining and I looked on the thing, it was 31. That's that's near the white out condition there. Done. Oh, snowing. Wow. First chore. Gotta find the chickens. They haven't had breakfast yet. No, nope. they're waiting patiently. It's almost noon. They haven't had breakfast yet. It's ten thirty. Is it ten thirty? I don't know. They're I think it's ten thirty. Is it 10 30 almost it's noon? Christmas Eve, they slept in. You didn't. You stayed up all night because you had coffee. Don't tell all the secrets. I shoveled this this morning already, by the way. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's a little puffy. It's a little heavy. It's about in between. Kind of like a dry hoodie. I usually do the outhouse first because you never know when there's going to be an emergency. And I love how I look back and talk to the camera. It's always pointing at the ground. Alright, gotta do it. In case there's an emergency. Ah! Might need a snowblower just to get the snow over the berm here in a little bit. Well, well, I kind of asked for one, but Santa see, didn't give you Santa one. Santa didn't give me one, so you must have been a naughty girl. Got a, got a shovel. I see that the neighbors got one going. Where? Over there. Maybe you should go become their friends. Maybe you should be my friend. <laughs> I am your friend. I'm shoveling your pathway. Very good. He's crazy. Let's see if they want to come out. Chickens are sliding down. Just laying down, that's funny. You ready for breakfast? 
All right, let's go get breakfast. You coming? Oh, she's looking at me. Every Sunday afternoon, I go down to the shop where I have a booth and these this is all my artwork. And this is the final month for my booth here at the store. I'm closing up on December 31st and I will eventually open an Etsy shop um, so that you all have a chance to buy online if you'd like. I guess you'll play the cookies. Yeah. All for you. Cookies and cocoa. We're watching a movie. And you want to know what's going on outside? Is it snowing again? <sighs> After we cleaned up six inches today. It's starting to snow again. Oh, it's snowing. Yeah. Good morning, friends. Merry Christmas. It's Christmas. By the time you see this, it'll be a week later. But anyways, um, it's Christmas Day and we woke up to more snow, but uh, going to head outside. David's doing a little bit of shoveling. We noticed this morning, uh, David had heard uh, some moose walking around in the yard last night. We got up and we noticed there's moose tracks everywhere. And then I went out to go um, take care of the chickens and I saw them laying in the backyard. So I'm going to see if I can, it's still dark out. See if I can get you a little picture of them. And uh, then I gotta go take care of the chickens before we head out to serve at our uh, community Christmas dinner. So I'll take you outside a little bit. Hmm. I don't know if I can see them this direction. Oh, I can't really see. There's one laying right there. That big black spot in the center. I'll go around and see if we can find the other one on the other side. Still snowing a little bit. Where's she at? Well, she walked up right beside the window. Uh oh, neighbor dog's up. spot. Yeah, you can't really see them. There's one right there and one right there. Okay, here's the dog. Oh, that dog went in. Yeah, she walked. She walked right through here. Right beside the house. All right, chickens are talking. They want out. That's a snowbank. We got one hungry chicken. <laughs> no one's peeking out. Oh, change your mind. Another girl peeked out and she changed her mind. She's like, oh, I don't see him no more, it's dark.
Here she comes. Follow me. Here she comes. Oh, she found her way. <clears throat> this one's runny today. Put too much water in it. So these girls, they want first servings. Act like you've never fed them before. Yeah. They're just the old ladies in the bunch. They're the bosses. Come on, ladies. You the old ladies? At least one of you is still laying eggs. Everybody else is all molting naked. Got a couple of them with no, with no neck feathers. Share it with everybody. Keep on cruising. I'll run you over. Pass. <laughs> How'd you get left behind there, chicken? Step in it, you guys. How do you get your feet so cold? Decided to get up and find some goodies. Oh, she's the right behind her laying down still. Yeah, this is the younger one, I think. Um, mm -hmm. or that's a number three. Yeah, I think there's three out there. There's three out there because the other one's still laying here. Yeah, I still see this one. There's three out here. I think Mama's the one on the left laying down still, right behind this tree. Mm. Those two look like the youngins. No wonder there's so many tracks in the yard. There's three of them. There's two of them. Maybe they'll go in the same yard and we'll have a Snowy head. Oh, it's a good little one. Mm. Hi guys. Good morning. Merry Christmas. All right. Christmas morning. Here we are in the car. In the car. We got we got another four inches of snow last night. Yeah. No shoveling this morning. We got. We're on a mission. Who cares about the snow? Yeah. So we'll do the snow tonight. That'll be our Christmas gift for tonight. <laughs> We should all be in shape, all this shoveling. Round is a shape. Yeah, well my, yeah, what's happening is my legs and my arms are in great shape from shoveling my stomach. My, my gut's not in such great shape because after you shovel, you gotta have cookies. It's in great shape from the cookies. It's in round shape. Okay. It's okay, it's not a big deal to me. I'm not that, I'm not that out of shape. It's still a shape. All right, so what are we doing today? What are we doing today that we couldn't even shovel the driveway? We are headed over to our a the our Menard local, Center, the sports center. Our local sports complex. It's kind of like sports, the community center. Yeah, sports in this, center, community center. Yeah. And um, they're holding a free Christmas dinner for the community, the entire wherever. People Everybody. come out of Anchorage. Everybody, to, anybody. And, and they also do a delivery too. And then, so, and we're going to go and we're going to serve. Um, we will be yeah. serving. So we're going to spend the day serving others. It's what we love to do. And we, we find all sorts of opportunities. And hopefully this year we'll find a few more. Unless you see somebody that you don't like. You can say, no soup for you. No soup for you. <laughs> Just kidding. No. Soup for everybody. But, and there will be, yeah, it's free for everybody. Come in and eat. They have, um, they have a Santa that comes in and I think gives out, uh, a gift to each of the kids yeah. and so and the, the friendship 
dinner, this is something, there's a committee that works this all year long preparing for this one day. And you can get online to Wasilla, I think it's Wasilla Christmas Friendship Dinner or something like that. You can donate online and help the cause. And the potato patch, the, the thing we did last year when we put potatoes at our church, half those potatoes are what feeds this dinner. But yeah, you can donate online if you'd like to contribute. But uh, they will not accept any donations today. Yeah. No um, donations on Christmas. Yeah. It's all free. You're not allowed to donate on Christmas. But, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. They're having, they're doing 600 pounds of potatoes today. Woo. That's what Craig said. He's, wow. he's, he's the potato that you'll probably see him. We'll, we'll probably video him because he's a friend of ours. And he's in our, our, uh, our motorcycle group. So, uh, yeah, he's been working on getting this potato cooking thing going for the last couple days. Yeah, boiling up, mashing 600 pounds of potatoes. I think, I think he's boiling them. I don't think he mashes them. No mashing them? Well, they're mashed, but somebody else. Oh, somebody else does the mashing. He's, he's just, just a cooker. Do they peel them? Uh, I don't know. Um, I think we'll have to ask them. Yeah, we'll have to see if they peel all these potatoes. Oh, he's in here. Yeah. Oh. Potato man. Huh? Did you peel them all? No, they were already peeled. Okay. We just boiled them. Though. That's what we were asking earlier on the video. It's like, I wonder if they had to peel them all. <laughs> 600 pounds today of potatoes. They doubled it from last year. Oh, yeah. We're expecting over 3,000 people, they said. Nice. I'm going to go inside and get set up for serving. You hide in the corner, room be out in the public eye. <laughs> you, you just missed the prayer. Yeah.
pajamas and your what are those boot things? <laughs> they look a little ten sizes too big yeah. for you. It's hard to go down the steps with them, but it's easier to put them on than mine. I'll be back if everything comes out okay. All right. Bye. We'll send a search party in half an hour. Okay. They're back so soon. Yeah. Oh, I waited till it was playing peekaboo. It's cold out. Whew. I did snow on my nightgown, though. It's cold out. It's only 13 degrees. Whoa. There's a dog. Where'd you come from? Hi, Maddie. You a good girl. Are you a good girl? Yeah. You just eat your dinner. That was yummy. Am I busy tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, friends. I just wanted to let you know that the snow has finally stopped. We had we did not shovel snow yesterday. It was amazing. But now it's cold. So that's another whole thing. Um Yeah, right now it is let me look at the thermometer. It's minus one right now, and it's almost 11 o'clock in the morning, 11 a.m. So, yeah. So, we went from lots and lots of snow to cold, and I'm not complaining because I didn't have to shovel snow. I love the snow, but if we got a big dump of snow and then we cleaned it up, and that was great, that would be good, but it was every single day we were getting more snow and more snow and more snow, and we had to keep cleaning it up. Now it's just cold. So all you could, all you do now is just put on more clothes, more, yeah, just cover everything. Good to go. So anyway, um, speaking of that, I need to get outside and take care of a couple things, do some morning chores and, uh, yeah, I'll let you know what's next. Actually, we're supposed to have snow for, or no, we're supposed to be cold for about four or five days. And then there's actually rain in the forecast. I seriously doubt that. Um, yeah, it says 29 degrees and rain. So I never believe the weather. Yeah, I know the, the weather apps just, yeah, not right at all. So anyways, I'll get back with you in a little bit. morning friends it's uh, a little chilly outside as you saw it's 10 degrees um, or no excuse me it's negative 10 degrees and that's Fahrenheit so yep it's cold um, I've got my heated scarf on it's awesome it's got heat in the back keeping the fire going today and pretty chilly out there anyways that's it for now Hello friends, I'm up in the loft. The light's a little crazy up here. Um, it's the end of December and we're still working on the puzzle. We're gonna finish this up tonight and I'll show you what it looks like. We got a little bit behind, David was gone and we were kind of wanting to do the puzzle together. So we're gonna finish it up tonight. And then I wanted to show you my bucket list. So I did pretty well on my bucket list. I got a couple things. I never did get to make a snowman. We had the right kind of snow at one point and I just never got it done. And um, so that's gonna go on next month's list. And I did not make the deck, uh, gingerbread house because I thought it was too expensive. So next year I'm going to make my own uh, gingerbread and make a house. And I, I was gonna go sledding the other day and then it got really cold. So I didn't go sledding or ice skating um on a winter hike or go snowshoeing and it was too windy the night we wanted to do a bonfire um we're hoping to actually do one on new year's eve so i could still have a chance to cross that one off and then we never did get to making the chili on the wood stove so but i got quite a few of the things done i'm impressed that was pretty fun to uh, think up all these different things and then get them done. 
And so I made a January bucket list. So um, since tomorrow is um, since tomorrow is 2024, New Year, January, um, I'm just going to read off real quick what some of these are in case you want to make your own January bucket list. And I'm kind of just doing this so that, and I'm kind of just making these bucket lists so that I can just think up different ideas to do each month, different things. And so I just don't, um, you know, wish I had done more things or, oh, I forgot to spend time with a friend last month or, oh, I could have gone and done that. So I'm writing all the ideas down and then I can read through them and like, oh, okay, I'm going to go to the coffee shop and work today. Um, I'm going to go to the library and read today, or I'm going to go to the bookstore, this bookstore that I found that I've never been to yet. Just different things um, that, you know, and I'm going to put putting a, uh, making a snowman back on the list and, and doing some of those outdoor activities. Um, and hopefully we can do some of those activities when it's not windy or super cold. So that's why a lot of those didn't get done. We were either busy cleaning up snow or it was windy or really cold. So we need to have, and I know those days will come around in the spring, but I'm just hoping they, you know, I get a chance to do them more than once. So anyway, I'm gonna share you, with you my January bucket list. All right, here we go. So some of the things I thought of to do is organize and pack Christmas decor. I uh, declutter clothing, read a book, go sledding, uh, bonfire, ice skating, make a snow angel, read a novel, read a self-help book, do a 21-day fast, uh, winter walk in the park, movie night, game night, use habit tracker, and then I just put the longest streak um, just to keep track of that for myself. Uh, a work day at a coffee shop, read at the library, a bag book sale, uh, go thrifting for a vintage item, activity with grandchildren, have a friend day, learn something new, and I put the little space there to write down what I learned, uh, make soup with fresh vegetables, make a bird feeder, organize bookshelf, winter floral arrangements, ha have hot coffee outside on a cold morning, work on my paint by number, learn a new Bible verse, winter walk 10 minutes outside as often as I can, watch Emma the movie, Go on a winter hike. Did I have that on there twice? I'm not sure. And uh, go to Recycle Bookstore. So those are just some of the things that I put on my list. And if you want to do a January bucket list, um, let me know of anything unique that you find to do. And uh, I can always add to my list. Or I can put it on next year or next month's list. So anyway... Um, I guess I'll get back with you a little bit later. We have a couple cards to open tonight that we didn't get to, um, that came in the mailbox a little bit late, and then we're going to finish up our puzzle, and then that's going to be it for this video. And, uh, we will have another video next year. All right, we got a couple more cards in the mail. I didn't check the mail today. What? You're slacker. I didn't want to go out. Well, I did. I wanted to go to the store, but... Uh, go it's only negative nine outside. Why don't you want to go out? Went to the gym this morning. Parked my car where I thought I was going to go out again. Never happened. It's cold. Anyway, this card is from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Freaking Kim. That's my cousin. Your cousin? Cousin? Cousin. By the way, I don't send cards much anymore. This card must be about five years old. Not that loud. Where's that one from? <clears throat> it's from this envelope. Uh, Kaiser, West Virginia. Mm -hmm. All somebody sent us some more stamps. Nice. Uh, awesome people. From Kaiser, West Virginia. Kent and. The Liney? Lenny. Lenny. Lenny Spencer. Spencer. Awesome. We're going to get them hung up. And um, whichever cards come in in the next week, they'll be hung up after that. And they probably won't. But I'll save them, but I won't. I probably won't hang them up. All right. We got behind on our puzzle. So we got to finish up. Oh, looks like 
Looks like you have three boxes and I have three boxes. Do you think that's going to happen that way? No, I think I'm going to do four or five boxes and you're going to do one. Probably. <laughs> Maybe two. Okay. All right. Pick one. Is this how they go? 19, 20, 21? Correct. All right. You can start from that end if you want. Where's 25? We don't get 25. It's just 25, done. 25, you're done. 25 is done. All right. I'm going to do 19 on this side. I'm going to just do this chair. Or, oh, I see what you did. You gave me the Christmas tree. And then we have to put them all away. Oh. Back in the boxes. That shouldn't be too bad. We can't do that tomorrow? Yeah, we can do that tomorrow. <laughs> I can do that tomorrow. With, let's do it next week. Okay. Oh, no, this is the chair. It's backwards. So that's 24 on that side. So 19 starts on this side. I have the tree. Is that you what you're saying? Tree. Here, you want this chair? Here. Swap me. Are you sure? You can look at the thing, but you stuck it under there. Well, I just grabbed the corner, and the corner is that corner, not this corner. See, like, here's your corner. 19, right there. Boom. Have to take it all apart and put them back in the boxes some other time. We did it. 24 days of puzzles. Did you like it? Was it yeah. fun? It was fun. It was fun. I love different. puzzles though. I love puzzles. Alright, scooch it. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, my goodness. So you got a dog in the middle. We want to thank you all for um, watching us and supporting us in 2023. And we hope that everyone has a safe and um, happy, safe and happy New Year's New Year celebration. <laughs> and we're going to roll on into 2024. And if you'd like, you can subscribe and follow our 2024 journey. Go on into the new year with us. Happy New Year from all of us here at Our Simple Life. To all of you out there, we hope and pray for a uh, productive New Year's for yourselves. That's it. That's it for this year. Happy right. New Year. We'll new see year. you next year. We love you all. All right. Bye. Let's go. Let's do 2024.